So the Shelton Leadership Institute, I think, is one of the, the really neat things and neat opportunities that, that uh, exists for high school students mm -hmm. uh, because, um, as I understand it from our conversations last year, this is an opportunity for high school students to come. It was about a six-day six leadership camp. Mm -hmm. It's a six-day residential leadership program. So you're looking for high school students that have extraordinary leadership skills, want to develop extraordinary leadership skills or maybe their parents want them to become better leaders is that pretty much accurately describe it that is correct yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of a great way for them just to get involved and kind of learn what they really can do with leadership yeah all right so and general hugh shelton as we mentioned who was the uh he was chairman of the joint chiefs wasn't mm -hmm. he under bill clinton i believe yeah, 14. 14. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah and uh he is. Uh, he of course is in Eastern North Carolina. He still lives here, I believe, down Atlantic Beach. Does yeah. he still live down there? Yes. He, he comes up and actually participates in this. He does. He won't be able to come this year. He has a previous engagement, but he's come the last two years. This is yeah. our third year doing the Shelton. This is Challenge. named for him. It and is. This is kind of, did he have any role in to help him develop it? He did. He, he did. did. He helped yeah. develop the curriculum. It's based on what he defines as values-based leadership. Yeah. So he has five cornerstones that he really uh, puts forward in this program: diversity, compassion, social responsibility. Uh, honesty, honesty and integrity. integrity. Ah, very good. Yeah. All right, so now, uh, Michael, you're looking for high school students yeah. to come to this camp. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the dates? And give us some of the d details. So the program pretty much is all for leadership development. That's kind of a great way for these people to kind of get to know what they can really do, whether it's in their community, whether it's in their school, whether it's what they'll be doing in the future. It's pretty much how to be an everyday leader. And that's kind of a neat opportunity before them because if they – do something like this, it kind of helps your resume. It's something that's very unique. And I would known. think so, yeah. Uh, it helps you kind of just uh, in general. A lot of people who weren't involved before do this, jump in. People who were involved kind of get a better feel of how they can be involved and even learn servant leadership with it too, mm -hmm. which is great for ECU. Okay. And the dates are the in The dates June. are June 22nd through June 27th. So the 22nd through the so 27th. Is that, a, is that a Monday through Saturday? It is a Sunday through a Friday. Sunday through Friday. Mm -hmm. June 22nd through the 27th. Yeah. All right. Now, if I'm a parent and I'm listening to this and I've got a child that, you know, maybe he hadn't got his summer together yet, mm -hmm. I'm thinking this would be a great thing to have on a college application. Yes. This is very good to have to on a college To go to General Shelton's Leadership Institute. Yes, yeah. it is. Right. All right. So we have an application process. Um, it can be found on our website www.ecu.edu slash O-E-I-E-D and you just click on the Shelton Leadership Challenge and the whole process is outlined there. Now, Michael, uh, there are some grade point requirements and things like that. Mm -hmm. you, you, you've you got to have a certain grade point average mm -hmm. yep. in high school to be admitted to the Shelton Leadership Yeah, Institute. so 3.0 no. unweighted GPA, and then you just have to have some general leadership stuff in the past. doesn't have to be a huge experience, but it has to be somewhat, whether it's in the community, whether it's in your school. Give me an example of what you're talking about. So really leadership, there's all sorts of leadership. You could be an SGA, you could be in your host, so you could be in anything like that, or you could literally just be leading through your little brothers, little sisters watching or stuff mm -hmm. like that. Just have to be able to somehow relate a leadership experience. And Mandy, uh, is this open to all North Carolina high school students? North Carolina and beyond. We've so, had people so from Virginia too. So if mm -hmm. somebody's, if a grandparent is listening and thinking, man, this would be great for my grandchild. Apply. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, you've got to apply. And uh, what's, what's the cost? The cost is uh, $600 for the youth. And that includes all transportation, all curriculum, includes, includes housing and dining and all that stuff too. So they stay on meals, campus. They, they mm -hmm. stay in the dorms? Mm -hmm. They yeah. do. So you nice get stay in College Hill Suites, <laughs> the nicest ones on campus. So that's kind of nice too. Where is it? College Hill Suites on College oh. Hill, right to the right once you start going up there. I, I, I didn't even know that existed. Mm -hmm. College yeah, Hill they're Suites. Nice. They're it's, nice. It's mm -hmm. the very you hotel, stay, nice looking one. It's the, it's the hotel uh, there suites you go. on the hill. Okay, good. All right, so uh, uh, again, um, what's the deadline for uh, application? Deadline for applications is June 2nd. Okay. It's June 2nd, and we still have about 30 to 35 slots available. All right, so if you've got a high school student that uh, you think would fit into this and you want to uh, have them develop leadership skills. Now, uh, Michael, uh, who, who, what, uh, give us a little, little taste of the curriculum during the week. What is it that the kids will actually uh, – experience during their week uh, in the Shelton Institute? Well, the part they'll enjoy most is probably the service project and the high ropes and the leadership reaction course because you literally go out there for either a whole morning or afternoon and you get to check it out and do, do things here in the community with the service project, which could be Boys and Girls Club, could be 
hopefully it could be different things. It just depends on what we do each year. Mm -hmm. Or they like the low ropes and high ropes because you're literally working with your team to get across some sort of obstacle. And that's not something you normally get to do on so an everyday basis. This is an basis. obstacle course, kind of high ropes kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, That's what they'll enjoy the most. That but the, challenges them a lot with the teams. The big part is mm -hmm. also the leadership curriculum, so public speaking. Last mm -hmm. year I led the public speaking, and a lot of them get a lot out of it because they've not done it before, they're not comfortable with it, and it kind of opens them up to it. Mm -hmm. Or they'll do um, leadership styles or just how you use the course so in everyday mm -hmm. life. And the that's role, kind of a big part of it. The role of ethics in leadership. Mm-hmm. Man, it's good stuff. I mean, you guys, you guys, uh, and the, the Shelton Institute has uh, has become a, a pretty big deal mm -hmm. uh, with high school students. I would, I would think that if, uh, if there are parents out there listening that want to get their kids involved in something really worthwhile this summer, this would be this would be at the top of the list. Well, yes. a big thing is sponsors too, because it costs the kids six hundred dollars to get, but really I was it costs six fifty. Do you offer any scholarships? We, right now, we don't have any available, but we're looking for people to donate and sponsor youth at $650. So, so you, people can actually donate to send mm -hmm. a kid. Can they pick the kid they want to send? Sure. If they have somebody maybe. in their community. Mm -hmm. sure. Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to send a kid, and uh, maybe they see a kid in the, in the community that has leadership skills mm -hmm. that uh, could really benefit from this but, but, but does not have the funds to do it, mm -hmm. someone could sponsor them as a, as, a, yeah. as a scholarship. Certainly. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. All right, very good. Uh, what else have we left out? Anything that we need people to know? Give the, give the uh, application information you go online okay yeah well yeah you go online to download it or you can just call me too and i can or or you know the thing that people remember a lot of times is if you just tell people what to google so you just google shelton leadership ECU institute ECU shelton leadership challenge ECU shelton, shelton leadership, leadership challenge shelton leadership challenge mm -hmm. or go to ecu page and search in the search bar east uh shelton leadership right. challenge it pops right, right up Amanda, you want to give your phone number sure um it's 252-737-1349 that's mandy lancaster all right, great. Have we covered it? I think so. Great. Good to see Thank you again. You. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for what you guys do. This is a great program. Yeah. Really is uh, super special for uh, high school students. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish, wish I'd had an opportunity like this in high school. And I hope, uh, you know, parents will take advantage mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, for sure. So for it's a great kids. program. All mm -hmm. right. Thank Good to you. see you both. Thank uh, you. Michael Carter and Mandy Lancaster from the Shelton Leadership Challenge at ECU. Again, uh, coming up in June. Get your kids uh, applied.